Okay, um, I've been thinking about the lying scumbag from Harvard, and I think I set the, uh, the bar too high, and, uh, so I, I just want to make, um, an offer to the lying scumbag from Harvard. Uh, lying scumbag from Harvard, if you go out into the universe and provide me with a name of a currently qualified American medical doctor, um, whom I can verify, can't be from Timbuktu, unless I can verify it, uh, please provide that name of a medical doctor that can confirm he has seen with his own, he or she has seen with his own eyes your testicles, okay? So all you need to do is go back to the doctor that you had your last physical. Tell me his name and tell me that he's willing to disclose that he's seen your testicles and that he confirms that you do indeed have what he considers as, as an informed person your testicles, okay? I'll verify that and then I will get back to you and simply demonstrate that you've done your first science. You have met the burden of someone requesting falsifiable, reliable information and you refuted for all time my suggestion that since I, I don't have verified information that you ever had or do now have testicles, I just want to get that. And you know what I'm doing there? It's called an appeal to authority. And appeals to authority are really a slippery slope, aren't they, lying scumbag from Harvard? Well, um, why is that? Well, the minute you start believing everything somebody else says, like a lying scumbag from Harvard, you can be harmed. But in this narrow case, I think it's warranted because I'm going to go on the assumption that I consider rational that a, a currently qualified MD in America who's willing to go on the record of having confirmed that at least at one time in your life you had testicles, okay, I, I believe a medical doctor who isn't a lying scumbag from Harvard, I would, I would, I would weigh his proof as nearly incontrovertible. And we could discuss that. We could assign probabilities of a medical doctor not knowing what testicles are, where to find them, how to confirm what they are, realize that they're not two golf balls. And again, he doesn't have to comment on the hair. Whether you have hair or not is irrelevant. You see how I'm eliminating your offer, your potential offer for additional information? I don't care if you have hair on your balls. I don't care if you ever had hair on your balls. I want someone else to verify that you have balls. And if I need to, I'll have them demonstrate they know what testicles are first, even though they're medical doctors. They'll say what it is, and I'll ask about you. Okay? This is so easy for you. You literally just have to give me a name of a doctor that says you have balls. Jesus Christ, that's the easiest. I could get that done maybe in a minute. I mean, maybe you don't know that many medical doctors with degrees. Lying scumbags from Harvard who don't know anything may not know any medical doctors. For all I know, you go to a faith healer because you don't care about evidence, you lying scumbag from Harvard. So go get that name. I don't want to hear anything about, well, you didn't define testicles. That's completely subjective, you lying scumbag from Harvard. You didn't, you, you, oh, you know what? I could have balls, but they're not in my scrotum. They're up my ass. And since you didn't ask that, you're unscientific, okay? I don't want to hear obfuscation. I want a name of a medical doctor that can verify 
that the lying scumbag from Harvard at any time in his life actually had testicles as defined by biology, anatomy, and so on. By a person who presumably can, I, can, can correctly identif identify two testicles hanging from a lying scumbag from Harvard. I, I, I feel like I've been abundantly clear. I will happily re-engage, happily re-engage and tell people to follow you if you provide that, okay? Because I will say, everybody, look at the, look at the lying scumbag from Harvard. Here's a perfect example of a lying scumbag. Use the lying scumbag for Harvard, from Harvard as your measure to detect other lying scumbags. And I would have done the world good by just explaining, hey everybody, here's an example of a liar and a scumbag. If you disagree, let me know, but this may help you identify and put out of business in your life other lying scumbags. So, you know, this is also a public service, okay? A public service that may not have utility for anybody else, but I would say a solicitation for somebody to prove that he at least once had testicles as defined by biology, okay? I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think there's any, is there wiggle room on that lying scumbag from Harvard? I'd love to hear your wiggle room about getting a number confirming that you ever had testicles, okay? And I'm actually willing to listen because I'll point out the obfuscation, I'll point out the lies, I'll point out the silence, which is what you do. Hey, you didn't respond to me, so you're a liar and a scumbag. Another example of being a liar and a scumbag. So you just give me more evidence for my paradigm on building, probably a word you use every day when you're taking a shit, okay? Because you think it means something more than what it means, okay? You, will, you, will, you are the foundation you are the foundation lying scumbag from Harvard, from the platonic ideal of what a lying scumbag is. That's my unreachable goal. A, the perfect lying scumbagness in the universe is right here, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the six feet of information that I consider strong, persuasive evidence backed up by evidentiary claims, val falsifiable evidentiary claims. So prove you have balls and we'll talk. Thanks, lying scumbag from Harvard.